Local Weather Authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. We're starting the day in the upper 20s and low 30s. Everybody this morning at or below freezing the actual air temperature. Now let's factor in that wind out of the northwest right now at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. And we feel like the upper teens and low 20s. It is a wintry start to this March day. And out to the north, we've even seen some snow flurries coming down across parts of the two state area. It is not out of the question that we could see a few of those snow flurries flying in the air here at home as well. So as you head out the door today, be prepared for a very cold Monday. Our temperatures are only going to warm into the upper 30s. We should be closer to 50 degrees. Those clouds will be persistent today and that wind will continue to add a chill even into the afternoon hours. We expected this cold air to be in place on our Monday and it has certainly proven to be true as we start this day. Now our temperatures are going to warm some as we head to the middle of the week. We'll have sunshine and Thursday will be our warmest day, a day where we actually get above average. But with that comes showers and behind it comes another shot of cold air. By the weekend, we're back to a wintry feel once again. So don't put those coats away just yet. Even with Thursday's highs around 60 degrees, it's still going to get cold once once again, today, as we said, plenty of clouds will be around throughout the course of the day, and you saw maybe a few snow flurries. Sunshine should be plentiful. Midweek, I think we'll see a lot of sun. Tomorrow, some sun. Wednesday, plenty of sun. Here comes our next weather maker, though, and by the time we get to Thursday night and Friday morning, there you see showers around the two state area. So, Friday, the green will be on the radar. If you choose to wear it for St. Patrick's Day, that's fine. But this weekend, you'll be wearing those winter coats once again because it's going to get cold out there. As for St. Patrick's Day, I know a lot of folks look forward to the holiday on Friday. Cloudy skies, breezy conditions, at least a seasonable high of around 52, but that's going to come early in the day. Showers early in the day, too, and then temperatures will start to fall for your St. Patrick's evening plans. For today, a daytime high of only around 38 degrees. We could see a few flurries out there and that wind is going to keep a very cold feel to the air all day long. Tonight, cold temperatures as we drop into the mid 20s to start the day tomorrow. Now, I think we'll get some sunshine on Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures by Wednesday back closer to seasonable. 52 is about where we should be. Close to 60 Thursday with showers developing late. Some rain early on St. Patrick's Day and then look at that high Saturday. 35 mm. degrees by Saturday. That temperature is running some 15 degrees cooler than average. So as we've said all along, March is going to go down as a cooler than average month. But after February's warmth, it's just hard to take, David. It is 52 and uh, some rain looks a lot better with that pot of gold next to it in the graphic. <laughs> than it does in your extended forecast. <laughs> funny, how, funny how a nice, shiny pot of gold can make you smile. It's amazing. <laughs> you know, we should probably have that in the lower corner all the time. Yeah, you know? I guess. Thanks <laughs> Thank so you, much. Julie. Uh -huh. And still to